All right, here it is all opened up. The inside, uh, there's new linoleum in throughout the entire trailer. Just replaced that last year, at the end of the summer. Uh, just to be upfront about things, right there you notice that little transition. There was a soft spot in the back for some strange reason. I couldn't see any place that water was coming in, but I put a piece of underlayment down and then put the linoleum over the top of it, so now it's tight. Um, we were thinking it was from the ladder, because there's a ladder in this top bunk here. And if you put it on the, the edge of the bed, it's right at the bottom of the ladder. So uh, that is something to be aware of. There's tons of storage in here. As you can see, basically the whole underside of the bunk is storage. Uh, there's additional storage up top there. And there are two little fans that hang over the beds, fans and lights for added circulation. The windows are all open. You can see that the canvas is in excellent shape. No marks, rips, tears, repairs, anything. And this is the full bed, obviously, in the back. Now, moving into the bathroom here. You have the medicine cabinet, the toilet, and the sink. The shower, which is really hard to see, but it's what you would expect in a camper. Of course, there's a, a fan up there. Now, moving to the front, there's your table, the fridge with a shelf on top. No storage under the fridge. There is storage under the, the uh, benches there. Bell bold sink, three burner grill, oven, probably been used twice ever. And then you have a radio and a microwave. Controls for the radio are off to the side here. And then there is the queen bed up front. And once again, to be completely honest, there are some water marks here, as you can see. And it's nothing terrible, but what happened was the guy that I bought it from said he packed it up wet. And so it just stained it. Um, and then in this corner up here, there is one spot. You see the tape in the corner. It's been patched, but we had it out in the rain unfortunately it was pouring down rain and it did not take on water anywhere so there's no leaks um, in my opinion I would say that those are just cosmetic issues that you would see with the, uh, the trailer itself the lights all work um, refrigerator of course heat and AC all work microwave I don't have electricity to it right now, so that's why things aren't on. 